This is our native wine cup. It's a lovely little dark magenta plummy colored flower. And you can see when you get up close to it, how it got its name, it really does look like a cup of red wine. It's a sprawling plant. It grows from a tuber. And when you're planting it, you should give each tuber probably three or four feet. I like to plant it under loose shrubs or trees or even other perennial flowers that are sparsely branched so that it can kind of come up through them a little bit. They give the wine cup flowers a little bit of support. And if they bloom at different times, then it's, uh, then it's a pretty effect. It gives you longer blooming in that period. And if they bloom at the same time, then you can get some very interesting color combinations. The little bud right there, unopened, looks a little bit like a rosebud, doesn't it? They also make a nice little winter rosette, so you can always remember where you planted them. If the summer's very hot and dry, they may disappear and not come back until the fall rains, but they're still there. The previous version was the prostrate or low growing version. It's usually only four or five inches tall. This one is the standing wine cup version. It's around 36 inches tall. If it got a little more water, probably could get taller than that. It's planted on a ledge, so it has good drainage, which is uh, very necessary. Nice big flowers, certain to get your attention. Here's a seed that's uh, about, ri about ripe. Let me pull it and I'll show you how tiny the, the actual little seeds are on the seed head there. There you can see how little they are. I usually just toss them around and let them find their own place in the garden. They seem to be happier when they get to choose their own place. Here we have the white wine cup. It's the same plant, just the white variety. But I think that's fun, kind of funny. Red wine cup, white wine cup. Got a little bit of pink kind of at the center. There's also a version that has pale pink stripes. I'd, I'd like to find that version too. They've got a nice leaf too, very, um, very articulated little leaf, which is is pretty, kind of a filigree type leaf, which is very pretty. This is a Gilbride Productions video by me, Paula Stone.